Imagine you're driving down the road in the dead of night, when suddenly your headlights illuminate something in the middle of the path. It's not a common animal. It's not an alligator. It's something so large that you hesitate to believe what your eyes are seeing. A serpent so massive it looks like it came straight out of a horror movie, stretched from one side of the road to the other. Now imagine that five grown men had to come together, struggling for more than 45 minutes to control this creature. And even with five people on top of it, the snake could still lift itself off the ground trying to escape. This isn't fiction. This happened in Florida, and what you're about to discover today will make you rethink everything you know about biological invasions. Did you know that in the Florida Everglades, one of the largest silent ecological catastrophes in North America is happening right now? We're talking about a predator that has no natural enemies, that can go months without eating, but when it does eat, it devours prey the size of a full-grown adult deer hole. A predator so efficient that it has managed to eliminate more than 99% of the raccoon population in certain areas. Yes, you heard that right. 99%. And here's the most frightening fact. Scientists estimate that only 1% of these creatures is ever seen or captured. That means for every one we find, there are 99 others hidden in the swamps, perfectly camouflaged, waiting. So what's causing this ecological apocalypse? It all started with the exotic pet trade in the 1970s and 1980s. People would buy these snakes as pets when they were still small, manageable babies. The problem? They don't stop growing. When owners realized they had a snake that was 10, 13, 16 feet long in their home, they panicked and released them into the wild. But the event that really changed everything was Hurricane Andrew in 1992. This Category 5 storm destroyed a python breeding facility, releasing dozens, maybe hundreds of these animals directly into the Everglades. And there, in that perfect environment, hot, humid, and full of unsuspecting prey, they found paradise. Burmese pythons are native to Southeast Asia. In Florida, they became an ecological nightmare. These snakes eat practically everything they can swallow. Rabbits, foxes, raccoons, opossums, deer, even alligators. Scientific studies showed that between 1996 and 2011, the raccoon population in the Everglades fell 99.3%. Opossums fell 98.9%. Bobcats, 87.5%. It was as if someone had pressed a button and erased decades of biodiversity. Florida panthers, already threatened with extinction, depend on deer to survive. But pythons also eat deer. The competition for food is pushing these panthers even closer to the brink of extinction. When you remove medium-sized predators like raccoons and opossums, even the predation of turtle and bird nests increases dramatically creating a cascade effect that's destroying the entire ecosystem. Researchers developed an ingenious strategy. They capture male pythons, implant radio transmitters in them, and release them back into the wild. During breeding season, males are attracted to the largest females in the region. By following these males, called scout snakes, scientists can locate the giant females, carrying dozens, sometimes more than a hundred eggs. And it was exactly using this technique that one of the most impressive captures in Florida history happened. A scout snake named Dionysus was frequenting the same area in the western Everglades for several weeks. The biologists knew he was there for a reason. And when they finally arrived at the location, they found what they were looking for. Now before I reveal the details of this historic capture, if you're enjoying this content, click the subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel continue bringing this type of content to you. The creature they found wasn't an ordinary snake. It was an absolutely colossal female Burmese python. In December 2021, biologist Ian Bertoshek, along with biologist Ian Easterling and intern Kyle Findlay, came face to face with her. The capture was brutal. 
The snake fought for about 20 minutes, using all its muscular strength to try to escape. Three grown men, trained and experienced, had to work together to control the animal and transport it back to the field truck through the brush. When they finally managed to weigh the snake in the laboratory, there was what Pertashek described as collective disbelief. The scale read 215 pounds. To put it in perspective, this python weighed more than the average adult man in most countries. And it was nearly 18 feet long. But the story doesn't end there. Months later, in April 2022, when the biologists performed the necropsy on the snake, they discovered something even more shocking. Inside her abdomen, 122 eggs were developing. 122. That's the largest number of eggs ever found in a python during a single reproductive cycle in Florida. The average clutch is about 43 eggs. This female was about to put almost triple that into the ecosystem. And there's more. In her digestive system, scientists found remains of hooves from an adult white-tailed deer. This python had devoured an entire deer as its last meal. This 215-pound python broke the previous record of 185 pounds. It officially became the heaviest python ever recorded in the state of Florida. The case of this giant python isn't isolated. In November 2023, five men from Florida encountered another monstrous snake crossing the road at night. It weighed 198 pounds and measured more than 16 feet in length. The snake fought with such force that even with all five men sitting on top of it, it could lift itself off the ground. The fight lasted more than 45 minutes. These captures show that pythons are getting larger and more abundant. In 2025, a Florida conservation organization announced that it captured 6,300 pounds of invasive pythons in a single season. 20 tons have been removed since 2013 from an area of just 200 square miles. And that's just a tiny fraction of the total problem. Florida has tried everything. There's the annual Python Challenge, where hunters compete to remove the most pythons, with prizes worth thousands of dollars. In 2025, nearly a thousand participants removed 294 snakes in just 10 days. Sounds like a lot? Experts say it barely makes a dent in the total population. For every python removed, dozens remain hidden. The state is also testing innovative technologies. Solar-powered robot rabbits equipped with artificial intelligence cameras have been released in the Everglades. Trained sniffer dogs are used, being 2.5 times more efficient than humans alone. Even the fashion industry has joined the fight transforming python skin into luxury handbags and accessories. But the truth is harsh. Complete eradication is out of the question. Pythons have already spread across more than a thousand square miles of South Florida. They are masters of camouflage, can go months without eating, and remain almost motionless waiting for prey. The detection rate is less than 5%. The case of the 215-pound python teaches us something crucial. Prevention is always more effective and cheaper than control. Once an invasive species establishes itself in a large area, reversing it is almost impossible. The Everglades are described by scientists as a unique jewel in the world, an ecosystem that doesn't exist anywhere else. And this ecosystem is being silently destroyed year after year by an invader that should never have arrived there. The lesson here goes far beyond pythons. It's about how our actions, even those that seem harmless like buying an exotic pet, can have catastrophic consequences decades later. It's about how nature, when unbalanced, can collapse in ways we never imagined. And it's about how sometimes, no matter how much money, technology, or effort we throw at a problem, the damage is already done. If you were impressed by this story and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. And look, I left a bonus video for you here that will surprise you even more. I guarantee it's worth watching. See you next time.